Welcome to Charger Field. Today's game is uh, you're a uh, fast pitch girls against the OCA Eagles. Today, uh, sunny day, a little bit of wind, better than yesterday. I think we all had rocks in our pockets yesterday. Starting lineup um, for uh, your Chargers will be uh, Kaylee Scott catching, Gabby Bowen on third, Madison Bates at center field, Sophie Bondurant, uh, your Sophonator, will be pitching, Katie Roberts at short, Lena Wilson in right field, Maggie Ephraim at second, Sydney Tucker at first, and Chloe Dewitt in left field. Today's feature player will be Katie Roberts. This season, she's moved in from the outfield to uh, fill the shortstop slot and um, is picking up the position pretty quick. Solid 308 hitter and a good clutch bat. She doesn't fold under pressure. And then second on team with RBIs with eight. Should be, uh, girls are warming up. Should be game time at any minute now. Girls looked good yesterday. Season uh, this Friday would be the girls' last home game, and that's against Wellston, and that'll be a good game. Uh, Wellston uh, played very well and, uh, and, beat, and beat the Chargers 10 0. Uh, had a few problems in that game, just with the. And uh, hopefully the girls can get that corrected and do a little better. But, uh, OCA. OCA, uh, uh, we lost to them last time we played. Very nice field over at Oklahoma Christian University. All right, looks like we're just about to get underway. Now we're gonna break away for a few minutes, uh, run, a, run a couple of our sponsors, and we'll hopefully be back with the first pitch. When you walk into Fuzzy's Taco Shop, you'll know you're in the right place. With the best Baja-style menu in town, we'll have the whole family addicted. Nachos, tacos, burritos, it doesn't matter. It's like an explosion of flavor in your mouth. We know you've had a long day, and you deserve a break. So, bring the crew to one of the Fuzzy's Taco Shop locations in Norman, Oklahoma City, or Stillwater. Welcome to your new addiction. Eat me. to detect other vehicles on the road. It's been shaken and pummeled. It's innovative enough to brake by itself, park itself, and help you steer. It's been in the rain and dragged through the mud. Introducing the all-new Mercedes-Benz GLE. It's where brains meet brawn. Welcome back. The girls are still warming up. Said, uh, like I said, the girls' last game, uh, last home game is against Wellston this Friday at 4.30. Then the, sc the schedule will wind up, I think, on Tuesday uh, against Crescent, and that'll be the last of the 
That'll be the, the C rest of the season. And then the girls are in the ASA shootout at Hall of Fame Stadium this Saturday. Should be a good time. It's a wonderful facility. And uh, the Chargers are hosting the 3A uh, districts. And this, um, this, I believe, would be Thursday and Friday. That'll be in uh, your girls, your Chargers will be playing uh, Luther in a best two out of three. Two games on Thursday, and if it's a split, we'll go to a tiebreaker uh, third game on Friday. Last night was senior night. Uh, one lone senior, Cheyenne. She uh, was new this year. Happened to have a little bad luck sliding into third and broke her leg. So, but right now we're waiting on uh, Coach Dobbs is at home plate, waiting on the umpires. And yeah, looks like the OCA coach is coming out as well. About to get underway. Chargers will be taking the field first. Home team and your Lady Eagles will be up to bat. Number starting off for Eagles is number 10, Trisha Yeager. And last game, she was a solid hitter in the last game. Went uh, three for three, four runs, two ribbies, a triple and a steal. Sophie, better hurry up and strike her out. So. Girls have really been picking up steam this year. Start off a little bit slow. We had a few holes to fill. Coach Dobbs is doing his best to try to fill them. And after a few adjustments, we seem to have uh, hit stride. And uh, girls have been really <coughs> picking up since then. And uh, some promising players coming up. We've got a lot of players that are just basically just this is their first year to play uh, softball, and um, they're they're catching they're catching up very quickly, doing well. Still waiting for the other umpire. Chargers won the JV game over the Eagles. And that was game prior to this. And looks like your Chargers have taken the field and warming up. Looks like uh, Kaylee Scott's is catching. Sophie is uh, pitching. Sydney Tucker on first. Maggie from second. Gabby Bowen at third. Madison Bates will be center field. And Chloe, uh, Chloe Dewitt will be uh, left field. And we should be underway here in any moment now. Sophie's pitching has got much better as the season's gone on. For just her second season of pitching, she is doing extremely well. Takes her just a little bit to get dialed in, but once she's there, it's nothing but strikes. Lady Chargers today are uh, six and eight overall, and versus five A schools were zero and one. Four A schools were three and one. 
three A schools. We're three, uh, two and three, and two A. We're uh, two and one. We've had 102, uh, 102 runs and 129 allowed. Head coach is Don, John Dobbs. Also the head baseball coach as well. State champions. Hopefully soon it will be that way for the girls' fast pitch. Sophie's looking like she's getting warmed up. That's good right down the middle. Nice throw down the second. Good snag by Katie Roberts. Home plate umpire is dusting off the plate, and we're about ready to play. First up for the Lady uh, Eagles will be Trisha Yeager. I believe she's a shortstop. Here's the first pitch. Low ball one. A little over correction, a little high. Ball two. Like I said before, Trisha hit very well in the first game. There we go, right down the middle. Chopper, foul. Two and one. Looks like Sophie's getting dialed in. Little low, three and one. Strong hit to third base. Gabby Bowen fields it. Easy out to Sydney Tucker. One out. Nice play, Gabby. Good catch, Sydney. Next up for the Lady Eagles, number 22, Derricka Rogers. Left handed. See what Sophie can do with this. Foul tip, strike one. In the last game, uh, Derek was 0-1. Oh Little high, ball one. Little high. Ball two. Two and one is two and one is the count. There we go. Called strike two. Two and two. One out. Top of the first inning. There we go. Ball three. Full count. Ball four. And so Derek gets to first base. Next up, it's number 12, Carly Miller. Little inside. Ball one, one strike. Nice guess to win. Ball on the 10 away. But here we are. So 
Tucker looks like she's trying to get dialed in. Went low on the first one, a little high on that one. Let's see if she can hit the middle on this one. Two balls, one strike, one away. That was close, a little outside. Three and one. Gusty wind maybe giving Sophie a little bit of trouble. Solid hit down first base line, just foul. That was a solid hit. Full count. Little high, ball four. Derek advances to second. Carly goes to first. Next up is number 23, Kaylee Paparussi. Hopefully I said that right. Just a little low on the box. Ball one. Little high, ball two. Kaylee checks the runner at second. There it is. Hopefully, foul ball. Looks like a little trouble fielding that one, but to uh, lucky for the Chargers, rolled foul. Two and one. High ball three. There we go, called strike two. Full count. Runners at first and second. Hits a high ball, Madison Bates is running back for it over Madison's head. To the, to the wall, uh, I think it rolled under the fence, dead ball, infield double. Two runners, two runners came in, and it was a dead ball, so she'll be regulated to a double. That one, the runner, uh, the runner that was on first can only advance two, so she's back to third. So you have runners at second, third. Runner that was on uh, second is now in. Now up for the Eagles, Haley Wiedelman. Good thing Madison put her arms up, otherwise that would have been just a live ball. Smart play by the center fielder there. There we go, called strike. I believe it counts one and one. A little high. Two and one. Sophie's just hitting all around the strike zone. She's just outside. Bringing in just a little bit to be nothing but strikes. A little high. Ball four. Okay, bases loaded. <coughs> Number 17, Julia Kiefer. I believe, uh, I believe she's third base. It went uh, two for three in the last game. Oh. 
Short fly ball. Clovey Knowles just outside her glove. Holds it to a single. One run in. Still one away, one and one's a count. No, I'm sorry, you back. Should be number 11, Maddie Gooden. She went one for two in the last game. A little low. Takes a few uh, batters for Sophie to get dialed in, figure out how the umpire's gonna call. There it is, good solid one. Right to first base, got through first. Into Maggie Ephraim. Ah, uh, and it looks like a uh, Eagles beat the throw in. Scored another one, 4-0. Got runners on the corners, one away. for the uh, Eagles, or 15, Reagan Crawford. Coming in. Coach Dobbs out on the, out in the circle, talking to Sophie, having a little infield meeting. Probably a few words of encouragement, not to get upset, get a little flustered. Easy to do when you're throwing your best and just can't quite get them in the strike zone. Sophie's a tough competitor, though. Oh, no, Doesn't rattle too easy. Just outside the upper corner, ball one. There we go, foul tip back to the backstop. One and one. It was a nice pitch, so we did there. Second, second and third. Two and one's count. Reagan Crawford at that. Three and one. There we go. Called strike two. Full count. Foul tip. Okay, full count on Reagan. Foul tip back again. That's the way to bring it, Sophie. Battle on home. Last two were strikes. Still full count. Oh, change up pitch, got her. Strike out, big K, first K of the game. Two away. Good time for a change up. 
Now up, number five, Madeline Jones. Runner still at second, third. There it is. Called strike one. Madeline taking some direction from her coach. Back in the box. Just, just missed the low corner. Two and one. Little dribbler to Sophie. There we go, out of first. Chargers uh, finish that half inning, four nothing. A few little errors, nothing we can't get ironed out. I'd like to thank some of our sponsors today. I'd like to thank the official sponsor, First Liberty Bank, where your success is their passion. Let First Liberty help you achieve your goals by calling 405-608-4500 or visit them at myfirstliberty.com. Star Vision would also like to thank our sponsor, Mercedes-Benz of OKC, for their support of our program. Visit their showroom downtown or check them out on the web at mbokc.com. If, you're, if you like the Charger sports, Charger Vision has a few sponsorship spots left. You can fill them in for the rest of the uh, rest of the uh, football, basketball season. Check with the uh, Charger Vision at heritagehall.com. Luke Steelman. Okay, your lady, uh, lady Eagles have taken the field. They're warming up. Looks like the pitcher, number 20, Molly Campbell. Good speed on that ball. First up for your Chargers will be Kaylee Scott. Kaylee's batting 607. That's right, 607. And three home runs, 15 runs batted in, and scored 14 times. Had a grand slam in the uh, game two two games ago. All right, umpires call for balls in. Soon get underway. Bottom half of inning one. Two Chargers down, four nothing. Umpire cleaning the play, and we should be underway here shortly. Kelly's been a pretty good utility player this year. She's played short, second, filled in in the catching position, and also uh, does some pitching as well. from the Lady Eagles. Called strike. Okay, so Kelly can get a handle on this one. In the dirt, ball one. Wind's been kind of gusty today. It's probably going to give the pit, both pitchers a little bit of fence. 
There it is down the middle. Kelly, solid hit to center field. Caught by the center fielder. One away. Yeah, we couldn't get a little gust of wind and take that one over the fence. Next up, Gabby Bowen, third baseman. A little low. Bowen. Gabby's hitting 375. Five, five run batted in and 11 runs. Solid hitter. Right down first base line. Oh, no, no. Oh, umpire calls it. Umpire calls it foul. That's a good hit, Gabby. Fans did not like that call. They thought it was fair. And so did your next one. All right, Gabby, nice swing. Here you go. Uh, one and one's gone. Chop down. Foul. Strike two. One and two's a count. Pop up, pop up, hit no man's land. Second baseman catches it. Out number two. Chuggers are hitting the ball today, just popping it up, making easy outs for the Lady Eagles. Now up. Now up, number seven, Sophie Bondurant, pitcher. Right Sophie's a solid hitter, 458. Just outside the edge, called ball. Right down the center, but just a little low. Two and one's count. <laughs> Solid hit right up to second base. Grounder, the center field. Sophie gets, Sophie gets a single. Good solid hit. Dobbs is going to leave Sophie to run. Usually changes her out. Now up, Madison Bates. Center field. A little low. Ball one. Pitcher Molly Campbell. She's not missing by much. Madison does like to swing the bat. Let's we'll see. Called strike one. Madison's not known for laying off. There you go. Swing, foul. Strike two. One and two's count. Let's see if Madison get Sophie around here. Oh, right. drop, drop strike three. Madison runs to first. Madison safe at first on a drop third strike. Way to be alert. Alert running there. Okay, now up for the Chargers. Our featured player, number 15, Katie Roberts. Oh, 
Saw a little dinker, second base. Oh, out of first. So, even though the Chargers put the lumber to it, came up a little bit short. Left Ducks on the pond and uh, zero score. Probably uh, cut to a commercial now, so we thank some of our sponsors. When you walk into Fuzzy's Taco Shop, you'll know you're in the right place. With the best Baja-style menu in town, we'll have the whole family addicted. Nachos, tacos, burritos, it doesn't matter. It's like an explosion of flavor in your mouth. We know you've had a long day, and you deserve a break. So, bring the crew to one of the Fuzzy's Taco Shop locations in Norman, Oklahoma City, or Stillwater. Welcome to your new addiction. find the perfect charger gear. Not only will you show off your charger pride, but you'll be helping improve the school in many ways, such as classroom activity funding. Come Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 10 to 2, Tuesday and Thursday, 10 to 4, and don't come Saturday and Sunday because we won't be there. Welcome back. Chargers have taken the field for the top of inning two. Positions have remained the same. Ball one. Back to the top of the order with uh, Trisha Yeager at the plate. Oh, good pitch. Just outside. Oh, called strike. Even better. One on one's count. A little high. Good snag by Kelly Scott there. I believe Trisha hit it down first base line last. Good solid hit. A little high, ball two. There it is, good solid little dinker. Hits the grass in between in no man's land. Madison Bates fields it. Decady at second. Holds her at one. Charter's going to have to do a little bit of hustling, get to those. Kind of just floated out there for anybody to get. Now up. Derek or Roger. Little dinker bunt. Throw to first. Drop the ball. Oh, overthrow to third. One run in for the Eagles. Batter advances to second. 5 0. This is what the Chargers are trying their best to try to overcome is overthrows. Sydney had to make the stretch for that one. She's looking straight in the sun as well. Good feeling to Gabby Bowen, just a little off on the throw. Inside, ball two. Just a little low. Okay, 3-0, she's probably going to take this one. We'll see if Sobe gives her a good strike. Let's 
straight ball for him. Go, runner turns on a walk and looks for two. Now up, number 23, Kaylee Paparussi, or as I heard in the stands, K KP. Chopper to, chopper to the pitcher, easy out of first. Runner scores, advances to third. Kelly catching, holds her at theory. One away. Just outside of the top of the box, ball one. Just outside, ball two. So if he seems to be narrowing it down, she should be getting it in the strike zone here shortly. Third. A little tall, ball four. Got runners at the corner. Number 17, Julia Kiefer. Up for the Eagles. Kelly Scott making a call. Pass ball, runner coming in. Slide, runner safe. So runners at second. Put this away before it gets out of hand. There it is. Good. Oh, Kid Rush makes a dive, misses the ball, goes to center field. Into Kaylee. Holds the runner in third. And the batter gets a double. Runners at two and three. I believe it's one away. A little high ball one. Maddie Gooden is the batter. Just outside. There you go. Chopper to Sophie. On to first base. Good snag by Kaylee Scott. Two way. Held the runner. All right, now up, number 15. Reagan Crawford, runners at third. Chargers can just clean up a few fielding errors. Be right in the middle of this game. Coach Dobbs is working hard on that. Just getting some consistency out of the girls. 
so you got girls moving around, playing different positions, and new girls, things happen. Three and O's account, two away. Eagles are winning eight and zero. Ball four, runner coming in. Tag. Got the run. Good hustle by Kaylee Scott. Picks up the picks up the pass ball. Tags her out as running the third. Third out. And that retires the Eagles. Eight nothing. See if your girls can uh, make some ground up. Charger Vision would like to thank uh, thanks to uh, Fields and Futures for supporting Charger Vision. Check them out online at fieldsandfutures.com to find out how they're empowering coaches and kids to be something bigger than themselves. Fields and Futures, igniting success. One field, one coach, one student at a time. Charger Vision would also like to thank RS Fuel Convenience Stores. Make a pit stop just south side of Memorial between Portland and May Avenue. High performance fuel for you and your car. And from what I understand, they just picked up and are now pumping through the hose 101 octane. So if you got a if you got a high performance car and you want to feed that beast, check out RS Fuel. Right. Eagles have taken the field, warming up for the bottom of the second inning. Looks like uh, looks like. All the position changes have remained the same. Number 20, Molly Campbell, still pitching. Did pretty good up first. First up for your Chargers. Lena Wilson. New this year to, to softball. Missed, uh, missed the summer season, just picked it up in the, in the fall. It's coming on strong, really nice. Hitting 286 with four ribbies and two runs in. Let's see if we can get something on the board, get something going for the Chargers here. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Good cut. She's got some power in that swing. If she ever connects with it, it's going to be gone. Oh, solid hit and a solid catch by your pitcher, Molly Campbell. That ball was gone. Got to play. Molly Campbell taking a breath there. That came right, that came right back at her. And, uh, that was one for the highlights right there. Good comeback to Molly there. That was a strike. Up to, up to bat is Sidney Tucker. Just outside ball one, one on one's account. Sidney's batting 278 with six rubbies, 12 runs. Chopper down the first base line, rolls foul. That was good. That was a good thing. The first baseman had it was waiting on her. One ball, two strikes. A little dinker to the pitcher. Easy throw to first. Sydney goes back to the back. She got a piece of it, though. Like I said, the uh, Chargers are hitting the ball. Just not, put, just not putting it where the Eagles aren't. Now up, number three, Maggie Ephraim, batting left-handed. Notice Maggie, she, she'll slap the ball, run forward in the box, and try to get it on the run. It's called slapping. It is. 
Two balls, no strikes. Maggie needs to get something going. We got two outs. Idea for Maggie's put a little ball in play, and she's got the speed to, to beat the ball. All right, little foul tip. <laughs> Two balls, one strike. You want advantage of slap because if you do connect with the ball, you're already moving. Get the first base just that much quicker. All right. Three and one. Ball four, Maggie's on first base. Now up. Number two, Whitney Wood, batting left-handed. Two away, Maggie at first. Ah! Whitney's also new to softball this year. Once again, picking it up pretty quick. Plays left field. Ah! Foul tip. Up and over the backstop. 0-2 oh to count. Oh, swing and a miss. That's it, three down. Leaves Maggie at second base. Couldn't put anything on the on the board. All right. Here are top of the third inning. Looks like Coach Dobbs is leaving the that Chloe Chloe do it is out at uh, left field. So that is the only change so far for the Chargers. Uh, the Charger uh, Corner Campus Store has all the clothing, accessories you need to show your Charger pride. And if you didn't know that everything you spend at the store goes directly to the teachers, classrooms, and programs like Charger Vision. Store hours are 10 to 2 on school days. And once again, there's still some sponsor spots available for the rest of the uh, Charger Vision season. Uh, would like to talk about that. Talk to Luke Steelman at Charger Vision at HeritageHall.com. Charger football team is off to a great start in the quest to repeat the 3A champion to, after the rival win opening to open the season. The, uh, um, against Cassidy in the Polo Bowl, Chargers destroyed the Clinton Red Tomatoes, 49 tomato, tornadoes, pardon me, and, uh, 29, uh, 49 to 21. Terrell Love rushed for 156 yards, four TDs, while Derek Sanders, 10 tackles, and Brendan Ezreal's three sacks kept Clinton's offense in check. Tune in to Charger Vision Friday night to watch the Chargers host defending 2A champions, the Davis Wolves. Kickoff is set for 7 p.m. First up for the... Uh, uh, Lady Eagles, the uh, top of inning three. Foul tip. Number five, Madeline Jones. Chargers are going to have to get something going here. Going to have to do three up and three down to stay in this. There you go. That's it, called strike two. Sophie's way ahead on this, 2-0. and oh. Looks like Madeline's getting some coaching from the third base coach. Back in the batter's box. Let's 
slow roller, ball one. One and two's a count, no, no outs. There it is, another K. Let's see, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. That's two this game for Sophie. Sophie's got 55 Ks this season so far. One away. Called strike. Number 10 back to start of the start of the order, Trisha Yeager. Solid hit to uh, shortstop. Caught fly ball by Katie Roberts, our featured player. Two away. Good solid hit and a good solid catch. Now up, number 22, Derek Roger. Foul tip. Looks like Sophie's hit her stride here. She's been throwing nothing but strikes lately. Shouldn't have bragged. High ball one. A little low, ball two. Two and one's a count, two away. Lady Eagles leading, eight to nine. Top of the third. Wow. Don't see how Sophie could have done anything. She was caught in a dust devil, it looked like. Throwing in a cloud. Swing and a miss. Full count. On Derek. Two away. Wow, the wind's picking up, really swirling the dust. Little high, ball four. Now up number 12 for Carly Miller. Unfortunately, Coach Dobbs has they've done a lot of work on the field lately and kept it from being, being real good. Oh, play to second. Oh, slide. She got in underneath the slide. Safe for second. Good throw, good catch by the Chargers. Okay, Scott popped that ball right out there to Katie Roberts, but not, just couldn't get low enough to, the runner got under the slide, under the tag. Chopper foul, one and one. Let's go Chargers. Good stop there by Kelly Scott. Kept him being pass ball. Hold the runner second. Two and one's a count. Two away. A little high, three and one. Kaylee checking the runner at second. Keeping her honest. The one he steals. There it is. Good pitch, swing and foul, full count. Oh, a little tall. Oh, runner going third, called out. Good, good, good play by the Chargers, alert. Play by uh, Kaylee Scott to Gabby Bowen. Gabby had the ball and was waiting on the runner for the third out. All right, Chargers keep uh, keep the Eagles from storing, and we're out for the uh, bottom of inning three. Once again, our featured player today is Katie Roberts. Moved in from the outfield to fill the second the shortstop uh, 
the shortstop position, doing a pretty good job out there. Caught that uh, fly ball from the second out, learning that position pretty quick. Solid 308 hitter and uh, good clutch, good clutch bat. And a um, second on the team with RBIs with eight. Chargers would like to thank their sponsors today. Fuzzy's Taco Shop, Texas Philadelphia Social Grill, First Liberty Bank, Red Valley Landscape and Construction, MBOKC, Energy FC, Fields and Futures, RS Fuel, and your uh, Charger Corner. Coach Jobs making the walk to first base. Hopefully he'll be really, really busy and take a lot of time over there. Okay, first up. First up for your Chargers, number 11, Kaylee Scott. Little inside, brush back. He had a good, uh, good solid hit to a uh, center fielder. Center fielder made a good catch in the first. Kaylee is capable of putting it into the trees over the fence. Good solid fit uh, right up the middle. Center fielder bobbles it, holds it one. Good quick, uh, quick reflex there by the center fielder. Keep that from going any further. All right, here we go. Hopefully Gabby can bring her around. Gabby Bowen is the next batter, number 16, third baseman. Off speed pitch. Oh, caught her on the tag at second. One away. Gabby still at the point. One away. Low. Ball two. Solid hit. Foul down the first base line. Two balls, one strike. Chargers are going to need to get some production out of the top half of their uh, batting order today. Little talk. Ball three. Looks like, looks like it slipped out of her hand. Molly's been throwing pretty consistent today. All right, now you're ready. Called strike. Ball, ball three. Full count. Oh, it's part of me, part of me, ball four. Now up for your Chargers, number seven, Sophie Bondurant. The Sophinator. Sophie's pretty, uh, yeah, pretty solid hitter herself. Long long as they uh, as well as pitching good games she bats 458 called strike one and one Gabby looking to steal trying to get in the scoring position need to put something on the on the board and get rid of that goose egg up there oh change up Good thing about that is Gabby made it to second on a pass ball. One and two as you count, one away. He 
Gabby steals third on a pass ball. Two and two is a count. There you go. Stokes still in there. Two and two. Oh. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Two away. Gabby at third. Scoring position now up. Madison Bates. Very capable of bringing her in. Foul tip over the uh, guest dugout. Strike one. High fly ball, left field, running under it. Oh, left fielder hit her glove and bounced out. Madison stays alive at first. Left fielder had a hustle to get over to it. You know, with that wind, it probably floated just a little bit on it. Now up, number 15, your feature player, Katie Roberts. Called strike one. Madison steals second. Foul tipped off first base line. Umpire talking to a blue cameraman. About staying in the designated cone area. Well, we've got marked up for your Charger Vision cameras. Ran into a little problem on that uh, two games ago. Ball hit in that area, it was called a dead ball. We had a hold of runners up at second and third. Ball on that last pitch. Foul tip. Oh, no, it was called. She foul tip. Catcher caught the ball. Batter is out. Commercial. We'll get a little break for a commercial. When you walk into Fuzzy's Taco Shop, you'll know you're in the right place. With the best Baja-style menu in town, we'll have the whole family addicted. Nachos, tacos, burritos, it doesn't matter. It's like an explosion of flavor in your mouth. We know you've had a long day, and you deserve a break. So, bring the crew to one of the Fuzzy's Taco Shop locations in Norman, Oklahoma City, or Stillwater. Welcome to your new addiction. Eat me. It's been a long time coming, but it's finally here, right now. 
a new dawn for Oklahoma City professional sports. A new tradition on a proud sports landscape. Professional soccer has arrived. Are you ready? Welcome back. Start of inning four. Sorry, I ran a little bit along with Marshall there. It's all right. Solid hit to the center field. Madison Bates fields it, throws it into second, holds runner at one. That was number 23, KP. Number nine, Haley Wiedelman is up. Chargers did break the goose egg, got one on the board last time. Run in from Gabby Bowen. Kelly Scott checking the runner at first. She's itching to throw her out. Two and oh. Kelly's gonna doing a good job of holding the runner there at first. Chargers still in this. If we can get out of this inning without too much damage. Change up to Gabby Bowen, fields a high chopper. Oh, gets her out of one, takes the easy out of one. That was a hard one, to, that was a hard ball to do. Chopper to third, char uh, good charge by the third baseman. Good stretch there by Cindy, uh, Sydney Tucker at first base to get that first out. Runner advances to second though, one away. Oh, Maggie tries to hit. Uh-oh, Madison Bates bobbles. It gets behind her. She's rounding third. Looks like this one's going all the way. Home run by number 17, Julia Kiefer. Good solid hit. Rolled all the way to the fence. That clears the bases. Maddie Gooden is up. Strike. Good solid pitch there. Heard it slap the net. Ah, oh, it slipped out of Sophie's hand. Rolling on the ground. No one on base to steal. Just a pass ball. Ball one. Dribbler to Maggie from at second. A little toss to Sydney. Out number two. Oh, it's two away. No one on base. Looks like the play will be to first. Number 15, Reagan Crawford's now up to bat. Eagles have been hitting fairly solid today. They have a good record at nine and three overall. High ball two. Their home field is at Oklahoma Christian University up in Edmond. Low ball three. Very nice facility. Oh, just a little low, ball four. Okay, runners at first. Number five is up, Madeline Jones. Two away. There's a first, force at second. There we go, strike, down a second. Good throw, quick runner. Was there before the throw got there. Ball one. <laughs> Ball one. 
ball too is the call. Just outside. Three knows a count. We had it dialed in there just last inning. Just a little tired. Called strike, three and one. Hit down the first baseline. Rolls foul. Diving catch by Sidney Tucker. Full count. Ball four. Runners at first and second. Number 10, top of the orders back up, Trisha Yeager. force at any bag. Coach Dobbs out talking to the field umpire. Coach Dobbs appealing to the home plate uh, the home plate umpire. Don't much sure what the call was. Something to do with the second uh, second base runner. Didn't get the answer he wanted. Back to play. Two outs. Runners in first and second. Maybe that pirates will be a little more noticeable last next time. Strike. Good snag by Scaly Kelly Scott. Keeps the runners from advancing. One and one. To count, right? Kelly's doing a good job of keeping the runners in check. Ball four. Bases are loaded now. Two outs. Now up for the Eagles. Number 22, Derricka Rogers. Any bag and home place. In the dirt, ball one. The wind's kind of picking up here. Oh, that looks like a strike to me. Called ball two. Strike one, two and one. All three. Ball 
ball four. Carly Miller out now up to the plate. Now walk, walks run in, bases are still loaded. Two away. Foul tip. Off the bleachers. Strike one. Speed pitch, ball one, one and one's again. Two away, Chargers behind, 11 to one. Good low, ball two. As I said before, the gusty wind is playing havoc with Sophie's pitching today. Foul tip. Almost hits the truck. Ball to <laughs> strike two. <laughs> two and twos. And twos across the board. Ball two, strike two, two outs. Swing and a miss. Drop ball, drop third strike. Ah, smart play by Kelly Scott on the drop third strike instead of going it down to first. Just picking it up and touching for a home base for a force at home. Retires the Eagles. They put one on the board at 11 to one. Now starting the bottom of the fourth. The uh, Chargers are going to have to put some uh, put some runs on the board because I believe the run rule is uh, 12 after three, 10 after four. So we're going to have to get at least one to make it go to make it go to next inning. Chargers would like to thank First Liberty Bank for your success is their passion. Let First Liberty help you achieve your goals by calling 608-4500 or visiting myfirstliberty.com and ask for Joey Root. Charger Vision would also like to thank Mercedes-Benz of OKC for their support of our program. Visit the showroom downtown or check them out at the web at mbokc.com. And um, if you're a fan of uh, Charger Sports, you need, we really need to support the boosters because the booster clubs really, because they're uh, being a, a private school, don't have a lot of funds to support the, support the sports. Uh, most, of the, most of the improvements done to the field are done by the booster club itself. So if you're a fan of Charger Sports, pick a sport and donate to the boosters. The booster club pays for softball, pays for, uh, pays for meals for away trips, and pays for... Uh, Hotels on the on tournaments and uh, and uh, in uniforms as well. Here we go. The bottom started at the bottom of inning four. Alina Alina Wilson at the plate. See if we can get something going. Oh, short fly ball. Third baseman runs up on charge and catches it. She is out. Now up, Sidney Tucker. Outside, ball one. Ball two. Sidney Tucker, first baseman, sophomore. Strike one. Or is it sophomore? Solid hit. Second baseman through the first. Two way. Uh, 
Good fielding by the Lady Eagles today. Not too many errors. Maggie Ephraim up. Yeah, as we talked about earlier, she slaps the ball. Called strike one. Called strike two. 0 oh 2 is the count. Swung and a miss, strike three. <coughs> that retires your, your Chargers, and that is the end of the game with the uh, Lady Eagles. Victorious 11 to 1 over your Chargers. Congratulatory handshake. It's a good game on both sides. Even though the Chargers hit hit well, they just couldn't get it to where the Charger to the uh, where the Eagles weren't. The Eagles made some good plays. Didn't commit hard very many errors. Good play on their part. Chargers going to the uh, uh, to the outfield for their post game conference. That will do it for us. Tune in, uh, tune in Friday for the Wellston game. That will be the last home game for the Chargers. And I believe Charger Vision will be there for that game. So tune in Friday. And with that, we'll go to commercial and see you Friday. When you walk into Fuzzy's Taco Shop, you'll know you're in the right place. With the best Baja-style menu in town, we'll have the whole family addicted. Nachos, tacos, burritos, it doesn't matter. It's like an explosion of flavor in your mouth. We know you've had a long day and you deserve a break. So bring the crew to one of the Fuzzy's Taco Shop locations in Norman, Oklahoma City, or Stillwater. Welcome to your new addiction. Eat. You'll be helping improve the school in many ways, such as classroom and activity funding. Come Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 10 to 2, Tuesday, Thursday, 10 to 4. And don't come Saturday and Sunday, because we won't be there. Welcome back. The uh, uh, Lady Eagles victorious tonight over your Chargers, 11 to 1. Uh, the Eagles played a very good game, very few errors, and uh, I think that was the difference in the game today, because both, both teams hit well. Yeah, just we uh, errors. Uh, Chargers just made a few errors, and uh, like I said, 11 to one is the final score. The last home game for the girls is this Friday against Wellston, and Charger Vision will be covering that game, and that'll be the second to last game for this season. The last season wraps up on Tuesday away with the Crescent, and Saturday they play at ASA Stadium, Hall of Fame Stadium, uh, downtown, and for the ASA shootout. And then we host uh, districts for uh, for 3A districts here next Thursday and Friday, where your uh, Lady Chargers will be taking on Luther. And once again, that is 11 to 1 here, and we'll see you on Friday. Thank you.